I'm about to stay in the five star Hard Rock Hotel in Tenerife. I'm going to check out this amazing resort, stay for one night, experience the food, the pool, the beach, check out the world class spa, which has its own snow room. Oh my god, there is actual real snow. And so much more. So there are many Hard Rock hotels around the world, all in very luxurious locations, and all of them five star. I'm going all in on the five star treatment. I'll explain what this black wristband is all about in a minute. Let's go and check in, come on. Now, there is check-in to the left-hand side where most people would actually check in, like they are doing right now and getting the full five-star service. Hard Rock is all about memorabilia. Look at that, worn by Elton John. You'll see lots of these dotted around the hotel. So I'm gonna be staying in the Nirvana Tower. There's, there's two towers to this hotel. I'll show you the rest of the resort in a little bit. It is actually quite big picking out here where the pool is that's actually on a lower level in fact that's actually separated from the hotel and these are the two blocks Oasis and Nirvana I am here this is the hotel I'm gonna go and stay in love the real wood outside this is the block that I'm staying in this actually lights up at night and it looks totally amazing I'll show you that in a little bit but let's take a lift to my room with one hell of a view I'm right at the top, floor 15. These lifts are pretty cool because they're right at the front of the hotel and look at the view. That is amazing. You can see over to the other tower there. We can probably see glimpses of the pool just there. And as we get to the top, we can also see the beach. It has its own semi-private beach, which I've already checked out and it's not the best beach in the world to be fair, but let's find our room so because I'm staying in a rock royalty room, I get the full royal service, and that includes a private check-in with a private host, and they even offered me a glass of champagne before they showed me to my room. Now, this is the key to my room. It also helps me out when I'm around the resort and I wanna buy a drink or buy some food. I just tap this. I just check out the bill at the end, which will probably be a fortune. Come on. This carpet looks almost new. Look at that, Beyonce's actual bra but Beyonce is smaller in real life than most people actually think so I believe my room is down there before I go and show you that look at this where you can just come and sit up here this is exclusive for this hotel and for the guests I mean look down there that is amazing a little bit of a sky bar where you've got some amazing views you get in you get a glimpse of what kind of view that my room is gonna get. There's also pop music playing everywhere as well. And when I was walking down this hallway, I was like, hang on a second, these are actually lights. And there's one down here, and it's pretty trippy, and they can actually be moved and be angled any which way you want. So here is my room. I tried to get the best room in the entire hotel. I think there's only one up from me and that's the penthouse but this is room 11505 and what is so unique about this hotel and when you book a room here or these particular suites you can actually go onto the website you can choose the tower that you want and more importantly you can pick your room and what's crazy about it is that you can see the view from your room on the website and then when you're happy with the room the floor level you want and the view you want you just click OK crazy right let's go in And I am going to say, wow, once again, because this is one amazing suite. The view is incredible, and so is the bath. It's pretty big, let's go and check it out. So welcome to my suite. First up, we've got a bathroom, well, just the, the loo. And this is the, um, the living room. And this is such a nice space. Not overly my taste, but that light is amazing. <laughs> By the way, that is my stuff over there, so just ignore that. But over here, we've got loads of goodies. First of all, I've got a free bottle of water, a couple of 
wine glasses. I also get complimentary access into the rock spa, which I'll show you a little bit later. This is an amazing spa with, like you probably saw at the beginning, a snow room. We'll go and check that out. I've got an espresso. Do you know what? In all the times I've stayed in these hotels, I've actually never used these. Love how they put the milk on top of the cups. Obviously, these are not going to be that great for tea, but we do have some breakfast tea, coffee, jasmine tea, very comfortable sofa nice leather do you know what i don't think i'll actually be sitting here and it's quite funny you get a suite this big and you think to yourself i'm gonna make use of the room but when you're only here for one night you probably don't get chance to just experience everything you kind of gotta just sit everywhere and look at everything really quickly like checking out this comfy chair or the very nice desk, which I've put my laptop on already. But it's this that is so cool, right? All the answers that you could possibly need to the questions that you might have for staying here. So with the room, I get two complimentary bits of ironing done for me. I can do a late checkout, free Wi-Fi. They'll also do a soundtrack to your holiday where they will basically put the sound of your stay in your room. So what they mean by that is they will put a, a personalized playlist together for you, um, a Fender guitar in your room, or a turntable with up to 10 vinyl records. That is crazy. I also get a free cocktail at the pool bar. That's pretty good. I've got this huge telly and I was like, what is that? And then I noticed I've also got an Xbox. But one thing I did notice that this is limited to the amount of games I think you can play because um, there's, well, there's no remote. There's that thing there. So I don't know, I sound stupid, but I've never played an Xbox before. I don't understand why there's no remote. Someone will probably tell me that in the comments, but I probably won't be playing with that. Love that. And also over here, da -da -da -da, we've got the fridge, a little fridge for your bottles of wine. Oh, there's me thinking there'd be a mini bar in there. Quite surprised actually. Hang on. What is your favorite beverage package? Discover it on our app. So you just choose it on the app. Oh, I see, right. This is where you've got your safe. Also, you've got another wardrobe here. There's one in the bedroom. Look at that. Ultra posh hangers with the logo on them. Why is there a door? Oh. <laughs> I was like, I've got a secret door. There's the iron. Thought my eyes were going weird as well, but I don't know how they've done this, but this is pretty special because this is not wallpaper. This is 3D. This feels so nice. It's, it's rippled and all these little dents in it too. Wow. So yeah, that is the living room. But if you come with me, we head into the bedroom. I must stress as well, I've also got balcony doors here which I can open to go out, but I'm actually gonna save that until we go into the bedroom, come on. Check out the bedroom. Look at the size of this bed, but also the bathroom, which is in the same room. Some people might not like that. Feel like you're sleeping in the bathroom, if you know what I mean. But I, the way they've done it, it's actually separated quite tastefully. I'll show you the bathroom first then, because we're here. So in the centre bit, you've got these, uh, hang on, let's turn some lights on. You've got two sinks, two huge mirrors. But what's great is when you're doing your bits in the sink, you can, um, you can check out the view as well. So each side, we've got a flannel, a glass, some tissues, nice big sinks. And I love the fact that they're autographed as well. Some hand soap, little mirror, free stuff. A central vanity kit, shower cap, shave kit, makeup remover. Oh, dental kit, that's handy because um, I was gonna go out and buy a toothbrush later. Down here we've got a lovely selection of towels, but this is ridiculously big. You can definitely get around about one, two, three. You can get a whole load of people in this bath if you wanted. This is gonna take forever to fill up though. Love the fact there's shampoo and shower gel there, and there's also an extra shower head to reach those places that you're might not be able to get at. This is also a whirlpool bath as well. So when I hit that, all these little holes that you can see there. I know what some people might say, it looks like a big toilet. Talking of toilets behind this glass door. Look at that, how the light comes on. Very swish. And then on the other side, we have a huge shower. There's all the shower gels, conditioner and shampoo. And just look at uh, that shower head, that is massive. Quite comfortably, I can probably get about four people in here, but it's the bed, 
that has made me go wow because the attention to detail on this bed right first up look at the pillows look at that the embroidered guitar on the pillows and i don't know if the camera picks it up but there's actual guitars on the bed sheets that is amazing there's a big trunk at the end of the bed with my own bag and a badge does this open oh just storage nothing else in there but let's check out the bed oh that is comfy what's even better about this room is that you can lay in bed fall asleep with the window open and hear the sea more leather here and although i didn't request it they have got very nice firm pillows and uh, i checked the bed earlier and this is a brand new mattress so i'm very happy about that because i did check for the old bbs a phone by the bed i've got this little bose speaker thing not quite sure what it is this is where i can put my playlist as well that'd be good so i can play some music on that there is another huge tv here a luggage rack these are odd kind of like them but they're a bit trippy i was wondering where the hair dryer was i've got some robes and look at that some hard rock slippers some extra drawers there and a shoe shine with a shoe mitt but check out this view are you ready just like online i get to see the same view as i thought i would there's a nice comfy little couch another little chair on a side table and you can walk all the way down here to where the living room is and just taking the view i mean the reason why i chose this room because i knew that it would get the most amazing sunsets and luckily the weather is great and so yeah i uh, i am blessed with what is going to be an incredible sunset well i think you'll agree the room is totally amazing but so is the rest of the resort it's got a few pools and also a few nice restaurants there's an italian restaurant and a steakhouse and apparently the steakhouse is really good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just quickly relax for a moment get showered and then head to the rooftop bar because there's an amazing sunset up there and grab some dinner so there is a really nice restaurant here which i'm going to go and check out in a little bit but there's also a rooftop bar i don't know whether they've got any entertainment tonight but i'm going to go and check it out because the sunset here on the balcony looks amazing so i can only imagine that it looks even better upstairs i can actually just take the stairs because it's only one level above me see what's going on if anything wow look at this this is amazing how beautiful is this there's a dj there doing his thing pretty amazing views over to costa Adeki, just literally behind me here so i've got reservations at half past eight but i think there's time for a drink first so these little material wristbands are supposed to help you pay for things around the resort you're supposed to be able to pay for drinks pay for food but mine doesn't seem to be working so i've had to pay by card seriously i love these lifts they're absolutely amazing they have such a great view you can see where i was right at the top there coming down these lifts though so my reservation for dinner tonight is about quarter to eight so in around about 15 minutes so i thought it will give us a little bit of time to have a walk around the resort at night I'll be checking out the rock spa in the morning but first let's have a look around do you know what i love night swimming it is such a shame they don't allow it here some hotels do some hotels don't by the way if you're enjoying the video please make sure you do give it a thumbs up it helps me out more than you know and if you haven't already please remember to hit that subscribe button this is the menu on a tablet so i check out the starters and it's all on there what's the price have a look so how do i go back oh no i've now gone <laughs> i've now just gone on google oh i can see what they've been googling university at harvard they've been googling whoever's had pensions um and weather for the canaries how do i get back to the menu go back oh yeah i found it <laughs> okay so new york strip 38 euros angus beef tenderloin 39 euros lovely view though of the pool and also looking up towards my room actually just around the other side thank you so i've gone for the aberdeen angus burger on a very heavy piece of slate 
that's a good burger. Well, dinner was great. And something I've noticed about five star hotels is that they offer a turn down service. And if you don't know what a turn down service is, basically they come in the room and well, they refresh it. And most importantly, they kind of make the bed ready for sleep. So they'll put some chocolates by the bed. They'll put maybe an eye mask or more chocolates on the bed and then kind of fold the sheets back. Morning. Well, I tell you what, that sleep last night was very good indeed. The bed was ultra comfortable. The room, well, being this high, was very quiet indeed. And I thought I'd start off the day with a nice cuppa. Normally, I don't like drinking tea abroad, but this is actually really good. And I can just take in that view. Oh, did I mention as well, with the Rock Royalty, I also get a late checkout. So I would normally check out, have to check out by midday, uh, but with this room, I can check out a lot later. So I've got until about two o'clock. So I'm gonna go and check out the pool and the spa. But before we do any of that, I think it's time for breakfast, don't you? So also with Rock Royalty, I get a very special breakfast. Now I can go and have breakfast over in the Oasis Tower, or I can go just around the corner because there is a special place for Rock Royalty guests to have breakfast. Let's go and check it out. So breakfast felt very VIP, very exclusive. There's only probably about six or seven tables in there. And bearing in mind, breakfast is about three hours, so you won't ever get it really busy in there. The food was continually stocked up. So I started with something quite healthy, a yogurt and some granola. And also then I went for the full English breakfast and ordered a couple of fried eggs and a cappuccino. You can also have lunch up here and also afternoon tea. Right, let's head down to the pool. Look at the sun. It's quite early, so the pool shouldn't be too busy at the minute. So there are three pools. There's a, there's a splash pool over there, which I'll show you in a minute, which is actually currently closed. There's also a pool down here to the right. And then the other pool, you have to walk over a bridge and it's kind of not really connected to the hotel because it's literally over the road. Best time to come down to the pool though, this time of the morning, because it's nice and quiet. They do have live music playing as well, which I'll show you in various locations a little bit later as I grab a cocktail. Very quiet this morning. I feel like I need to whisper. Wow, listen to those birds. So this is what I mean, where the other pool is located over the road, because there's a, a road to other hotels and apartments. And then there's the pool down there. So we have to use this lift. I'll also show you the beach a little bit later on because they have got their own semi-private beach, but I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best beach in the world. You'll see why. I don't know why there's a minus one. There is no other level than minus, oh, there is? Don't understand. Okay, this is the wrong draw. Oh, halfway house. <laughs> Might as well walk down the rest. So I'm down on the pool level. There's a bar here. Love that palm tree. I reckon they put that in. They must have done. And looking back at the hotels. Got a beach club where you can get lunch just over here. But I want to show you just around the corner here. Because at the moment there's loads of sunbeds, but at various times throughout the summer and the winter, they put on some really great live music events here. And I'll just quickly show you, there is a VIP area as well. I wonder how much this actually costs. So if you're next here and you want to come up to the VIP area, this is what it looks like. I'm sure they do put something down on these seats. Own private little bar though. I haven't seen this very often in uh, hotels and resorts where you get lockers right by the pool. Quite handy actually. 
although they do cost a euro. Even the outside showers are showbiz. Okay, so let's check out the beach. By the way, they do do live entertainment in that little center ring bit. Sometimes they have like a, a DJ or live music playing. This might look like the beach, but this is not. This is a, a separate area that you can uh, pay for cabanas. They rake it though, looks quite nice. You have to use your car to get out. Although this wristband has not been working, so I have got a backup card, hang on. And here's the um, beach. Now, I don't think it's indirectly owned by the hotel, but they allow access onto this. In fact, there's some steps over there for people around the other side to get on this beach, but no one seems to really come on it. I wonder why. I've got my free cocktail, let's give it a try. I thought considering this might be complimentary, they might kind of make it weak. But yeah, nice kick to this mojito. Well, the pool did look great until I put the camera underwater. And yes, that is what you think it is. A used plaster and also some other. Then it was off to check out the famous Rock Spa. This place was pretty nice. I got my own locker with some flip flops, a towel, and also a dressing gown. Loved the spa area, it was really nice. Complimentary refreshments on hand, walking outside as well, these heated sunbeds. And these are all plunge pools where you go in and they are pretty cool. And these little plunge corners where you kind of stand in them and get plunged. By far, it has to be this room that was the craziest. This is the snow room. Oh my God, why would you do this? There is actual real snow. My feet are freezing. It's supposed to be good for you, right? Now we're supposed to go into the sauna. Get warmed up. That's better. So this is Elvis Presley's running suit he actually wore that look at that pretty good condition actually so this is known as the splash pool but for some odd reason it's not open which is a bit of a shame but to be honest the other pools seem a lot better okay so just in the car park and uh, yesterday as i was going out of the car park i noticed something strange as i was coming out of that exit there i saw this crack along the floor which i hadn't noticed before and it wasn't until i looked down and realise that the crack goes all the way round in a big semicircle around the car park. And actually, if you look down into the crack, you can see the floor below. Very, very concerning indeed. And I noticed that it's not just on the floor, but it's also directly above as well. Should I be concerned about this car park? Just look, the cracks keep going all the way across. So apart from the car park, I have to say, this is probably one of my new favorite hotels. Tell me in the comments whether you think I should go to another Hard Rock hotel and which one. The service in there was just absolutely amazing. If you ever come to this hotel, make sure you upgrade to that royalty rock level. So the price I paid for one night at the Hard Rock Tenerife was 650 pounds. I did stay two nights just because of my flights and the way the times worked out. Compared to other five-star hotels, I thought that price was pretty good. If you like the video, please make sure you do give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.